Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we're going to learn what is an interface. So in the previous module, we learned about abstract class. And in this module, we talk about what is an interface. So let's get started. Now, if someone asks you what is an interface and related with an abstract class, so it'll be like this. An interface is a pure abstract class. Now, I'll, I'll just type it here. And let's see what is an interface. So an interface is like a pure abstract class. Now what does that mean by pure abstract class? That means it will only have abstract methods. Okay. Now normally an, an, an abstract class, we normally call it as a template. Now an abstract class is like a template where you have normal methods as well as abstract methods. Now whereas an interface we call it as a contract. Now, because an app, an interface will only have will only have abstract methods. Any class that inherits must implement all the methods in interface because it will only have abstract methods. I repeat, in abstract class we'll have normal methods as well as abstract methods. So the derived class only need to implement the abstract methods only need to override the abstract methods. So it's not mandatory to override the normal methods. But whereas an interface, interface will only have abstract methods. So the data class must implement all the methods in the interface. So that's the difference between an, inter an abstract class and interface. So that's why we use the term called contract for an interface because any class that implements interface must, must override all the methods in the interface. Okay, now let's try to understand a realistic example. So let me open MS Paint again and let's say this. Now, if I take some geometrical shapes, let's take this as a circle and let's take this as a square and let's take this as a rectangle and let's assume this is this is a triangle. Um, sorry, let me put it, let me select it and put it here. Now, now all these are geometrical shapes. Now I want to create an interface so that I don't forget to implement some methods. So for all these geometrical shapes, I have to make sure that the class, respective class must implement two methods. One is get, get perimeter. So perimeter means length of the circumference, right? So the perimeter means when you cut this and open this, this is a perimeter. And for a square, this is a perimeter. For a rectangle, this is a perimeter. For a triangle, this is a perimeter. Now I want to make sure that every class that I write must have two methods get square, get perimeter and get area. So what is area? Area means this this area here, this is the area, this is the area here, and this is the area here. Now for all these geometrical shapes, I don't have a common formula. Get area is different and get perimeter is different for all these geometrical shapes, but I want to make sure that I, I'll have a template kind of thing which will enforce which will enforce the these respective classes to implement it. So then I'll go with an interface because I don't have reusability here. If I have reusability plus enforcing, then I'll go for an abstract class. But here in this case, I don't have reusability. I just need to enforce the error classes to implement. So I'll go for an interface. Now let's try to understand. So this is example 41, class number 41. So, so I'll create a new project, file new Java project, and I'll create here project 41 and click on next. I want to create module info and check that click on finish. Now what I'll do here, I'll be writing right click on this a new package. As usual, I'll put here my package and I'll be writing here my class, new class and I'll just write here my class and I'll just put here main method. All good. Now what I'll do here is I will be writing here, I'll be writing here an interface this time. So I'll write here interface, interface, I'll just put here shape. Now what are the two methods that I mandatorily need to have? Public int get perimeter. Now see here, I'm not putting this as abstract. So if it's an abstract class, I should use the keyword abstract. But for an interface, by default, even if I remove this public, so by default, methods in interface are public and abstract. So if someone asks you, if someone asks you if this method is public or default, so even if even though if I don't have public, this method is public by default. I repeat, 
in an interface you don't have to mention the methods as public and what is public what is private what is default what is uh, protected we're going to learn in the coming up modules but for now understand that in interface even if you don't put public the method is public and also even if you don't put abstract the method is abstract so so if someone asks you hey, this is a normal method or an abstract method this is an abstract method in interface you don't have to put public you don't have to put abstract by default the methods are public and abstract now I'll write here int get area and now I made this contract now any class let's say I'm writing here class circle and one more thing guys for an interface since we don't have any method body or all the methods are abstract methods so we're going to implement it so here we write implements so we don't use extends so extends we use it for class and abstract class for interface we use implements shape now now how do we how do I create the methods so I just need to move the mouse uh, circle let me change the circle now I just need to move the mouse on this and select here add unimplemented methods it'll add the template now see here it's adding get perimeter it's adding get area I'll write my formula here so for the circle whatever formula I need I'll write here and for uh, whatever area I'll write here so so that way I will never forget to implement the methods get perimeter and get area in all the geometrical shapes because they are implementing my interface okay so an interface the points you have to know is an interface will will have is like a pure abstract class it'll have all abstract methods and by default the methods in interface are public and abstract and now what we'll do is and now let's say I'm going to write here class square so class square and write here implements and uh, I'll write here shape now now again I don't have to manually write it here so I don't have to manually remember and write it public and get perimeter I don't have to write it and because I have an option where Eclipse gives me by default so all I have to do is move the mouse on this add unimplemented methods it'll add my method templates I just need to change it to the formula that I need okay so that's about an interface and now what I need is we'll see some more points about interface now now one more very important point that all of you should know is now let's take there is a class A and there is a class B now there is a class C now I have three classes A B C now I cannot have these two parent classes for this class now I'll write here extends a comma b I'll get an error so you can see here I cannot have two parent classes for for a single class so so multiple inheritance for classes so this is a class this is a class and I'm trying to have multiple inheritance here like this a here b here and c so this is not allowed for classes in Java so we got some good diagram here so you can see here okay now anyway now so multiple inheritance for classes is not allowed in Java for classes now let's take I'll change this to interface now I'll, I'll change it to interface and I'll change it to interface now for interface we don't use extends right so we'll use implements so I'll write here implements a comma B now you can see here I'm not getting error so so a class or an interface can implement multiple inter interfaces so that means for interfaces for interfaces multiple inheritance is allowed for interfaces multiple inheritance is allowed but for classes multiple inher inheritance is not allowed just keep in mind okay now let's quickly summarize what are the points that we have learned in interfaces now now number one and interface is interface is like a pure abstract class now interface will have will have all abstract methods now one point I just want to give here is Java 8 onwards they have added something called default methods so an interface can also have default methods although we're not going to discuss now I just want to tell you interface can have default methods 
In case if you want to learn more about default methods, do research on this, but I'm going to cover you maybe after some modules. Now what we'll do is, so yeah, an interface will have all abstract methods. Now, or will have, or I'll put here must have. And now by default, methods in interface are public and abstract. Now you don't have to use keywords public and abstract for methods in interface. By default, they're public and abstract. Now normally interface, we call it as contract. Now fifth point, multiple inheritance is supported for interfaces in Java. Last point, so to, to inherit interface, we use the keyword implements. To inherit a normal class, we use extends. To inherit in interface, we use implements. So I hope you're clear with these five, six points. So that's about interface. That's all you have to know for now. So revise this, practice this, and try to understand the difference between an abstract class and interface. And I hope you're clear with these concepts. Thank you and see you in the next module.